Welcome to the High Refresher videos. Remember these videos will only make sense if you've attended the training program. Hi, so welcome to this video which is all about how you as a guitar teacher will be conducting your demo class or trial class for the first time you meet your student. You've seen this at the workshop, I'll just run you through it once more really quickly so you'll have an idea of exactly what to do when you conduct this. Alright, ready? Let's go. Hi, my name is Chintu and today we're going to have lots of fun with the guitar. When I say clap, you clap. When I say listen, you listen. Alright, listen. Clap. Listen. Clap. Listen. Clap. Listen. Clap. Listen. Da 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 da. Clap. Listen. Da 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 da. Clap. Listen. Clap. Listen. Clap. Listen. Clap. <laughs> Don't worry, nobody gets that. Uh, uh, um, you know, just like you have a heartbeat, music has a heartbeat. So let's see if we can clap to the heartbeat of music, all right? So I'm going to play you. And ready, steady, ready, clap. Very good. And what happens? And what happens when you walk faster or start to run, your heartbeat goes faster. So let's see if we can clap to music when its heartbeat is going a little faster. And ready, steady, ready, clap. Fabulous. What happens when you start sprinting and running really fast? Your heartbeat goes a lot, lot faster. Let's see if we can clap to this heartbeat of music. Ready, steady, ready, steady, ready, clap. Very good. What happens when Usain Bolt is running? Oh, his heartbeat must be going really fast. So let's see if we can clap to the heartbeat of music when it's going at Usain Bolt speed. Let's go. And ready, steady, ready, steady, ready, clap. Superb! Alright, we got to go a really, really fast, faster than the fastest in the world and I bet you can't do this. Come on, let's see. Ready, steady, ready, steady, ready, go! Fabulous! But are we here to clap? No, we are here to play the guitar. Alright, let me show you the guitar. This is the guitar. It has a body, it has a neck, and it has, has a head. Alright, so I'll point out and you tell me what part that is. Neck, head, body, neck, body, head, body, neck, body, head, neck, neck, body, neck, 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 And you go faster, 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 make it a game so that the kids have fun playing that game. Alright, tell me. What do you see in front of the guitar over here? Strings, wires, hippopotamuses, all good, right? So here you go, you have them right in the front. And now let's see what these are called. Now, don't pick up your guitar, watch me, all right? I'm going to take my guitar, put it on my lap, with the head on my left side, strings facing the top to the ceiling, all right? Your turn. Come on, take your guitar, head facing the left side, strings facing the top. Got that? Awesome. Don't play. Watch me. Now with your right hand, show me your index finger. Very good. 
take it and place it on the string closest to your body. All right. There you go. This is called string number six. Very good. The string right after that is called string number five. Put your finger on that. Very good. Put your finger on the next string number four. Next one is string number three. String number two. String number one. Very good. Now I'll call the number and you put your finger on that. All right. Come on. String number three. String number six. String number one. String number five. String number two. String number four. String number one. String number six. String number twenty-two. Ah. All right. Let's look at the left side on the neck. All right. On the neck, can you see something? What do you see on the neck? Lines. Awesome. Very nice. So the space between the lines are called frets. So lift your left hand. Show me your left index finger. Put it on fret number one. That's right. Now the next one is called fret number two. Next is fret number three. Fret number four. Try fret number one. Fret number five. Fret number seven. Fret number three. Fret number eight. Fret number five. Fret number hundred and two. Now there is no hundred and two. All right. Now don't do this. Watch me. We're going to take our guitar. Put your hand on the body outside. Pull it towards you. Put one hand here and wave to me. All right. Don't don't do it. Watch me again. Put one hand on the outer body. Pull it up towards you. Put one hand here and wave to me. All right. Your turn. Great. Now that you've done that, the last thing we need is something called a pick. So what you got to do is show me a thumbs up. Very good. We put our pick on that with the pointy part outside. Hold it and bring it to the string closest to the ceiling and put your pick over there. Don't do it. All right. Watch me again. Thumbs up. Pick here. Shut it on the string closest to the ceiling. All right. Your turn. Fabulous. Now, when we play from ceiling to floor, it's called a downstroke. Don't play. Watch me. All right. Your turn. Downstroke. Play. Very nice. Now, watch me. Don't play. When we play from floor to ceiling, it's called an upstroke. All right. Don't play. Watch me. Upstroke. All right, your turn. Wait. Upstroke. Play. Very good. You don't play left and right. You just play up and down. Okay, fabulous. Now what we're going to do is oh, very tough. We're going to put a pick on the string closest to the floor, and this is called the E string. Do you know why it's called the E string? Because it is. All right. So we go to play the E string. Don't play. Watch me. It sounds like this. Nice. All right. One more time. Listen. Don't play. Very good. Okay. All of you ready with your E string and E string play. Very nice. E string play. Superb E string play and E string play E string play and E string play and E string play. Whoa, you guys are playing that so well. Let's try to song. All right. All right, ready. Ready with your E string? Come on. And ready, steady, ready, steady, E play. Oh yeah, ready, steady, E play. E play, E play, 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 play. Superb. Let's try the next string, the second string from the floor. Shh, don't play. It's called the B string. Do you know why it's called the B string? 
because I love bees. That's why. All right. So don't play. Listen. This is what it sounds like. All right. Got that? All right. Ready with your B string, everyone. And B, play. Very good. B, play. And 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 B, play. There you go. You know what's coming up next? Ready with your B string. Oh, yeah. Ready. Steady. Ready. Steady. B, play. And B, play. And B, play. And B play, and B play, 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 Wow, that was good. Let's try the third string from the floor. Don't play, watch, it sounds like this. This is called the G string. Do you know why? Because I love the G string. That's why. The G string. All right. Ready to play the G string? All right. Everyone, G play. Oh, that sounds good. G play. And 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 G play. Really tough song coming up. Be ready with your G string. Here we go. Everyone ready with a G string. And ready, steady, ready, steady, G play. That sounds good. One more time. Ready, steady, ready, steady, G play. G play. And G play, and G play, and G play, 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 faster and faster. Because you are so good, we're going to try something a little tougher. All right, so watch me. E B. G. All right, one second. Watch me. I'm going E, B, G. Try. Very good. Once more. Watch. E, B, G. Try. Now watch G, B, E. Try. Watch G, B, E. Try. Very good. Watch. E, B, G. Wait. G, B, E. Try. Superb. Let's try this song. All right. With me. Steady. Ready. Steady. Ready. Go. E, B, G. G, B, E. Come on. One more time. Go on. One more time. Come on. That's it. You got the fabulous guitarist already. The bad news is we are done. We are finished. We are done for the day. But the good news is I'm going to play you something from our curriculum which you will be playing really, really soon. So listen to this.
And here's where you as a teacher do your thing. Play something nice, play something interesting, play something inspirational. So that those students say, wow, my teacher is so cool. But use a curriculum song because that's most important. It's real for the student. It's not uh, Joe Satriani, some kind of Joe, Joe Sat piece. It's, it's something that's really real that they can imagine they will be playing really soon. So play the track. Once it's done, wow them, razzle dazzle them and then just make your little end pitch thing. So who would like to join me for class next week? Sign them on and all the very best.